You're watching Expresso. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show live on SABC3. Now, it's exciting Monday today as we bring you amazing courses and also shed light on all kinds of things that most of the time we only get to do research about. Spinal cord injury in most cases cause paralysis and other health-related complications too. And most common cause of traumatic spinal cord injury usually comes from car accidents. Well, here to shed light on it and also to talk about it, Raven Bingy from Quad Power Association of South Africa. And then also next to me, Vanessa Haywood, an ambassador for the Wings for Life World Run. Now, that's a mouthful. First of all, welcome to the show, Raven and Vanessa. Thank it's great you. to have you here. Raven, I've met you before in terms of Kwasa and the work that you do as an organization, as an association. We're talking specifically here about spinal cord injury. I have to ask, you're in a wheelchair. What's your story? Well, Ivana, I'm here this morning and I can't tell my story. I was in a car accident that uh, happened roughly 14 years ago, mm. passenger in the back seat, and uh, uh, I came from there as a person with a spinal cord injury. Sure. Luckily for me, I survived, and I'm here to tell my story. You're here to tell your story, and also to help other people. It's amazing, and I've seen what you guys do. Driving, training, and wheelchair distribution. You know, it's just some of the things that you do to help support people in South Africa. Take me through it. How important is this kind of su support? Well, the support that Quasa does is very important because as an organization, as a national organization, we deliver projects, products, projects and services for people with uh, spinal cord injury. We invest in prevention. See? And also we have very strong advocacy and lobby that we do. Mm -hmm. And then also we support uh, research into finding a cure for spinal cord injury. But that's the thing I just mentioned, that spinal cord injury is probably the one thing that we don't know too much about. There is no cure. Not yet but we have hope that there will mm. be soon. I, I get to the 4th of May and also the reason why Vanessa Haywood is here with us. The Wings for Life World Run is aiming to raise money. Vanessa, maybe you want to come in here and just tell us why is it important for us to do this kind of research? I think specifically because right now there is no actual um, cure for spinal cord injuries and hundreds and thousands, if not millions, maybe probably hundreds and thousands of people worldwide are affected by spinal cord injuries. And I've got two family members who've been affected by spinal cord injuries. And I know that if they were a little more mobile and possibly could walk again one day, it would make their lives a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. Well, with the help of Kwasa, they are mobile and you do that kind of support. We want to also get to the race to give you some hope and also to find out how we can all get involved. Now, we're chatting about the world's first ever global race, the Wings for Life World Run. And uh, here is something, wow, that is reinvented, that is new, and also something that we can all get involved in. Take a look at this. On the 4th of May, 2014, at up to 40 locations around the world, thousands of runners will start to race at exactly the same time at 10 a.m. UTC, whether it's night or day in their country, whatever the weather. In one single worldwide race, professional athletes, charity ambassadors, and hobby runners will compete and run for those who can't, with 100% of all entry fees going to spinal cord research. Everybody can set their own goal, pushing to stay ahead of the capture car for as long as possible. The race courses will take the athletes through a variety of different locations, but there can only be one winner. With millions of people following the live feed until one participant, no matter where they are in the world, emerges victorious. Sign up now, running for those who can't. Well, you heard it, running for those who can't, a race, first of its kind, in studio this morning, Raven from Kwasa and also Vanessa. You're the ambassador. You're like the coolest person there that's able to run for everyone. Again, tell us your story. Why are you involved in this? Well, the Wings for Life Foundation is an organization based in Austria that literally work 24-7 to find a cure for spinal cord injuries, which is pretty cool. Mm. And uh, obviously they need funding, so they came up with this concept more than a year ago to have this awesome world run, and literally at exactly the same time, at, in 33 countries on exactly the same, same day, we're all going to be running for those who can't, and that's awesome. 
your biggest challenge in this race i mean i know you and and your your fiance ryan you sporty people you're always out there doing a course what what is the biggest challenge for you for this race? This one's different. Right. The finish line, the finish line chases you from the back. Wow. So it's pretty cool. So you can also decide how far you want to run. You don't need to be able to run a marathon distance. Okay. It's really the slower you run, the less you'll run, the faster you run, the further you'll run. So there's a chase a car that chases you from the back and it speeds up as time goes by and when wow. it passes you, you're out. Okay. So you're gonna feel like the hunted. Wow, when it passes you, you're out. Well, you're hearing this. Yourself and Ryan, okay, you're, you're part of it. Also, I hear Sebastian Vettel and David, is it Coulthard? That's right. He's also part of it. So tell me about how we can all get involved. Well, see, they, they are ambassadors as well, yeah. and they'll both be taking part at Silver, Silverton in uh, the UK on the racetrack, so they'll right. actually be running on the racetrack. And uh, people that want to enter can go to www.wingsforlifeworldrun.com. It picks up your location immediately, so it'll pick up that you're in South Africa, and we've got the run in Cape Town. Raven, coming back to Kwasa and also what you do, helping people and supporting, you know, giving driver training, supporting what you've just mentioned, whether it's wheelchairs or helping people along. What does it feel like having this kind of support around, especially on uh, the 4th of May when everyone's running this race? Well, it is absolutely great for an organization, organization like Quasa to have the support of a huge foundation like that, supporting a cause that we are all uh, looking forward to having a, uh, the, one day to find the, the, the cure for spinal cord injury. Mm -hmm. And then also, I need to say that if any one of the viewers needs to get some more information with regards to spinal cord injuries or the, uh, the quasi itself, you can uh, access our website, which is www.quasa.co.za, or even we have a, a, a telephone number, which is 0860-ROWLING, R-O-L-L-I-N-G, 0860-ROWLING. Well, keep on rolling, guys. Listen, Raven, thanks for being our inspiration. Vanessa, you're great. We love you, and we will be rooting for you on the 4th of May as you're taking part in this amazing race. Entries closes on Sunday, the 20th of April, so it's your opportunity to do something special for those who can't, and you heard it. Keep on rolling for sure. Well, speaking of rolling, Monday is probably the best day to start your uh, exercise routine, especially if you've forgotten about it over the weekend. Now, Vanessa, who's sitting here next to me, she went to the Seapoint Promenade to make sure that uh, we all get involved in wings for life world run she met up with all the other contenders for a bit of training take a look at this you might know vanessa haywood as an actress and a top model what you might not know is that she's also an avid sportswoman with the wings for life world run happening on the 4th of may vanessa shares her top tips to help you cross the finish line i run because it makes me feel free and it keeps me healthy and fit the way to get race ready is to train, unfortunately. There is no goal without hard work. So get a coach if you'd like to, and you need to train for a couple of weeks leading up to an event. Get a couple of kilometers in every day, whether you're running or cycling. Let's start off with some stretching tips. It's best if you start with the top of the body and work your way down. So first of all, you can start with the neck, stretching the neck, and you've got to hold the stretch for a couple of seconds at a time. Somebody like me who has a neck injury, these kind of warm-up stretches are vital. From there you can move on to the shoulders, so you can either do rolls, going in both directions, stretch the arms, and you can do a tricep stretch as well. From there you can move down to the hip area, lower back area, and then very important, particularly if you're running to stretch the quads, you can do a stretch similar to this, and the hamstrings and eventually the calves. And it's also a pretty good idea to, to get your ankles going, just do a couple of rolls and that kind of thing. Warming up for a long run really just involves going for a short run before the event starts to get the muscles warmed up and then a bit of a stretch. It's important to breathe correctly and breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. The longest breaths possible is the best way to breathe. How to deal with a stitch? I get stitches often and they come from not breathing properly. So when you feel the pain under your ribs, it's important to control your breathing. So take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. The other option, of course, is to lift your arms above your head and then continue with that deep breathing, breathing into the area where the pain is. For World Run, you can decide how far you want to run. Go onto the website, www.wingsforlifeworldrun.com. There's a great calculator to help you set a goal and work out your pace. 
do keep Vanessa's tips in mind and don't go overboard. The best way to avoid injuries is to warm up before a training session or an event and also not to overtrain. And particularly when you do feel a little bit of pain or a tweak somewhere, don't push it, especially if the pain gets too severe. Then it's best to stop and give yourself a break. Mentally preparing for a race is tricky because if you take part in pretty crazy races like I do, like the Cape Epic, there's a, a different level of mental strength needed for races like that. But the most important thing to do when you hit the hurt lock or you go into that little dark place where you don't think you can carry on, remember the goal that you set yourself. For example, with the World Run, we are all running for a different purpose. We are all there on the 4th of May to run for people who can't and to perhaps find a cure for spinal cord injuries. If you keep all these tips in mind, you might just be able to stay ahead of that capture car. Dust off those running shoes. Join Vanessa and other World Run contestants on Queen's Beach in Seapoint every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. for practice runs. Well, I must say, I, I was saying to Ilana just now that I'm not much of a runner, but I think that th this is so inspiring, man. Come Talk on, about Mandela, Mandela. I think we should do it. Fourth, Fourth of, of May. Fourth yeah. of May. Huh? And I like the catch a car idea, haven't I said? So <laughs> you run the whole time until the car passes you, and then you go, I'm a winner. <laughs> of, your, of your own race. Now, Raven, I mean, we've, we've heard from you, you know, what this means to you to have the support, um, you know, of, of people doing this. And Vanessa, to you, why is it so special for you to do this? I think particularly because I've got two family members and a friend, in yeah. fact, um, that have been affected by in, in spinal cord injuries. So, yeah, I just want to do something to try and help. Yeah, I you are. You are helping. <laughs> You're not just trying. Raven, thanks so much for coming. We really appreciate you. Kwasa, go and find Same them. <laughs> the details also on our Facebook page, Expresso Show, if you want to find out more. And Katlejo has just said he's going to run that race on the 4th of May. Yeah. 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 Listen, stay tuned to your feel-good breakfast. We'll be right back.